Welcome back to The Ed Show. Now, we've told you how Mitt Romney lies about everything from Medicare to his tax returns, but we got a new one today. Mitt Romney might be lying to himself. He announced his so-called energy plan this morning. Here it is. North America, North American energy independence by 2020. North American energy independence by 2020. It is achievable. This is not some pie in the sky kind of thing. Okay, so Romney's goal is to make the entire continent of North America completely energy independent in eight years. Now to do that, we need to drill a lot. Romney decided to unveil his grand plan at a trucking supply company in Hobbs, New Mexico. Now he had a chart there, but Romney admitted that it was too small to read. So let's help him out. Mitt Romney wants to increase all forms of drilling. He claims he'll magically expand offshore drilling by two million barrels a day. He wants another two million barrels a day doing so-called tight oil drilling or fracking. Romney claims America can drill for an extra 28 million barrels of oil a day. Uh, that's his plan, just more drilling. He doesn't mention emission standards at all to reduce oil use. Cutting fuel use should be a key to reducing our dependence on foreign oil. Romney doesn't expand wind, solar, or nuclear alternatives. In fact, he wants to cut initiatives for those power sources because, well, he thinks uh, they're unfair to drilling companies. Whose pocket is he in? And one more key to the Romney energy plan, he'd give states all the regulatory power and ease back on safety laws. Using the law to stop production of energy is not in the best interest of the United States of America and our people. So what we have here is more drilling, fewer safety regulations, in decentralized regulation. Now, what could possibly go wrong with that? Well, ask the people in the Gulf Coast who are still struggling to clean up the Deepwater Horizon disaster more than two years after the explosion. If Romney thinks more of this is good for America, playing Russian roulette with our environment. He's just lying to himself and voters.